Welcome to my cooking channel, The Cooking Swiss. And because spring is just around the corner, and I, I, I decided to do a little pantry clean out and freezer clean out as well. So uh, today we're going to make a pea soup. And I'm going to mostly use um, canned and frozen and dried items, except for the onion. We are starting off with about a tablespoon of olive oil. I like to grease the pan first. We're adding a can of sliced carrots. I drained them already. Next, we are adding a can of sliced white potatoes, grade A. They should be actually the soft boiling kind, like a C grade or a B grade, but I have this can, so I'm using it. Next, I will be chopping up this onion and throwing that in as well. We have the chopped onions and we're adding this in as well. We're adding now in the dried sweet peas. I gave them a quick rinse. Last but not least, we're adding uh, the halfway defrosted ham. Remember, it doesn't really has, have to be completely defrosted because it will, you know, cook. Plus, it's already fully cooked ham. I'm also adding just a tiny little bit of dry white wine. It's mostly for the flavor. Approximately six cups of water. You could use frozen peas or canned peas for this, but then um, I would only use about four cups of water because keep in mind that the peas, the dried sweet peas are going to soak up most of the liquid or a large part of the liquid. We're also adding approximately one tablespoon and one teaspoon of bouillon. I guess I should show the other side, which is German, but it doesn't matter. German or French, it's the same. And I will also add two chopped cloves of garlic. One teaspoon of thyme. and a couple of turns of freshly ground pepper. We're covering this up. This is now ready to go. We are gonna put this on the high setting for one hour, and then I will put it on the uh, low setting for another six hours. Let's give it a quick stir. It's the first hour has passed. Not much has happened. Uh, obviously, the um, uh, ham completely defrosted. And honestly, it's already smelling really, really nice. So, I'm gonna cover this up and um, reducing the heat. There we go. And I'm gonna reduce the heat now to low and we'll let it cook for another six hours. We are about half an hour away from full completion of the soup and it is a little bit uh, running, runny so I decided to make a little slurry from uh, or with heavy whipping cream and cornstarch. I'm using approximately one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm adding this into the soup and give it a nice and good stir and let it cook for another half an hour. Another 30 minutes have passed and we can see it actually thicken up quite nicely 
and it is ready to be eaten. And I hope you're gonna enjoy the soup. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I wish you bon appetit and guette, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs>